purple shirt, purple shirt, purple okay. shirt, purple shirt. Always I want remember. to do a podcast in a purple shirt. <laughs> and you are. Oh my God. And you are. Okay. Good Lord. Hi. It's uh, Hi. it's Daggercast. Hello, Brian Kirst, my big gay horror fan love. Hello, Lindsay Charles. Hi. My oh. olive making love. Yes, I have made an olive. You she have is made quite an fun. olive. You have made an olive. She is uh, destructive. She's wonderful, yeah. but well, she she's just what's going to Pantera. What do you expect? She's gonna right. <laughs> she does love to butt she's scoot. Rip to it metal. up. Rip yeah. it up. She loves to butt scoot to all kinds of stuff. Man, she is like yeah. To to have an infant that goes from toddler, pretty wild. Um, also, uh, what I love is doing podcasts while she's asleep. Hooray! Welcome, welcome don't to Dagger curse Cat, it. Don't right? curse it. Ooh, I'm not gonna cur- <laughs> I'm cursed. You're um, cursed. No, I'm cursed. I'm <laughs> cursed, damn it. I can only be the cursed here. Only cursed. Oh, um, good lord. Good you're lord. tickling me. Good God. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, coming in, listening, or looking directly at us. Uh, this is uh, Daggercast, and yeah. we talk about horror films, representation in horror, all kinds of fun stuff um and uh where you can find us on all of the social medias um facebook and stogram all that stuff and then also uh email us at daggercastinfo at gmail.com because i want to hear what you have to say uh so does brian i mean we all do i, do. I mean i really do i mean jared's the one who's going to be checking these emails so he'll <laughs> be the one to check first anyhow um we're here we have uh i don't know it's it's a it's a lovely tuesday night how are you doing are you talking to me or the I'm audience? I'm talking directly to you. <laughs> You're the only one who can answer the question. Well, you know, I thought it was just like a more like, how are you folks out there? We hope you're well. We you know, do. Like, c- kind of, you know. I don't get as much of like. by before we wallop them over the head. Well, I just don't, I don't get as much you know? as like small talk. Uh, okay. Good. I don't get as much small talk with you before. Spacey if, 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 I, if I'm not able to answer a direct question. But, oh, yeah. but it's just because I'm so excited about tonight's show. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's really nice to have this to look forward to on a Tuesday night. Let me tell you. So, um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I feel like this filter makes me look like I'm high, but I'm not. <laughs> this is just the filter. Maybe that's what's happening to me. Some yeah. of that high filter is wafting over here. I'm sorry. Also, I have a yeah. massive To pimp. put it bluntly. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. You are. See, my friends would love you. Like, <laughs> me, like with, with my, I got some punny, statisms, my I got, <laughs> I got some punny friends and they <laughs> would, <laughs> mwah, they would, they'd be like, yes, that's beautiful. Well, I am. Um, should, should we go into, because we have the amazing Gabriel Sanchez with us tonight. Yay! Yes. Uh, Wonderful. Um, uh, what? He is a musician. Uh, Jared, our product. Yep. Jared, our production manager, is the one who who uh, recommended him to the hey. show. Which, um, hey, if you want to be on the show, yep. person hey, listening, yeah, yeah, yeah. get you, in on this. We will. Uh, but anyway, um, what do we got? The Babylon music lovers out there, he is the man behind the Prince Experience. So hey, uh, yay, 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 yay. I'm and sorry, I, I, and you I, can... I did some. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm talking over no, you. No, no, no. You do the. You if you 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 go. Um, Prince actually has songs in horror films. He's, he's got a song in Vampire in Brooklyn. He's got a song in Innocent Blood. And he has a song in Scream 2, apparently. Wow. Okay. I did not yeah. know the Scream 2. No, I have the Scream 2 soundtrack. Scream 2. Well, I think that's all like heavy metal, you, you know, like, like Nick Cave inspired stuff. I, I don't think he's on the soundtrack. Oh, okay. Because I um, I, don't think he's on, like, I, I only got the Scream 2 soundtrack for Everclear because I loved the band Everclear at one point in my life. As you wow. should. I think I mean, Alexius is, was, is very gay friendly, actually. He's the, amazing. The yeah. I met him once and literally it was the only time in my whole life that I didn't have anything to say. That yeah. was fully speechless. Or, um, or he's talked about having, I think he's talked about having experiences with men, actually. He- I think he has. Dude, the last thing I saw about Everclear was that they were performing at an AARP festival. <laughs> oh, well, you know, he is legitimately then, if he hasn't had sex with other men, then he's legitimately a punk rock daddy. 
Right? Ooh, daddy. he is a punk. He's like literally daddy. a punk daddy. He's he's the father of mine. Whoa! Oh Whoa. shit! Okay, I'm done. That's that's ridiculous. All right, your, love... your friends love you too. All right, we should bring <laughs> our <laughs> I'm guest tell... of honor. Yeah, I... of, of yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Gabriel Sanchez. Yay! Yay! Show yourself. Show your face. <laughs> he's not. He, he's shy. He's shy. It's okay. Yeah. He's the man behind the mask. I'm sorry. Anybody who's going to do a like, you there, can there do. We go. There he yeah. Is. He, he just made. He just kept us waiting. He's a true showman. It's all he's good. Making an entrance. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. well. Good. 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 So how I did this... my? I'm sorry. I left my diet coke in the freezer for too long, and so I have to. I have to like keep sipping it. Or it'll explode. So I'm sorry <laughs> that that's happening. No, or you're just excited that coffee. Gabriel's here. So um, I am. How how did the 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 Prince experience start? Well, let's just dive right into. Um, about one uh, 2001 or two, I was asked to do a play. Okay. Um, actually, a friend of mine that I I was a roommate with. Um, actually, he was my roommate. It was the house that I was like renting. I just he wanted to stick around for a couple of months, and he was in some small it was a really small like kind of crappy theater company and I would go to his shows just because to help him out like oh you know I'll buy a ticket and just go help out and have some other friends come with me and then they did like whatever like rock shows basically like rock movies and he said oh are you gonna do Purple Rain I'm like oh I love Prince yeah let me know I'll buy tickets you know blah 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 He's like, no, we want you to be Prince and I'm like what no 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 <laughs> I'm like no dude I'm like I don't act I've never copied Prince before. I'm like, no way. I'm like, I'm not doing it. And he's like, oh, he would be great. And then I started thinking about it. And when I was a kid, we had our, our video camera in a house and I would write, literally write all the words for everybody, like my sisters and my cousins. You know, this is your line. We have to do all the, you know, practice your lines. We have to act out right and this and that. So I was into the acting thing already when I was a kid. I said, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'll do it, man. I'll give it a shot. And I was out somewhere at some bar with some friends and they heard that I was doing it and they go well so you can sing like Prince and you can dance like him and play guitar like him and play piano I'm like oh my god what did I fucking get into man I'm like <laughs> what did I do here so I ran home I literally left the bar as soon as they said whoever it was said that I'm like oh, I gotta go I put on the record and I listened or I started singing and try to like copy it and I'm lucky that at that point I had like a three octave vocal range. I have a four octave vocal range now from stretching my voice, but I could hit all the notes. I'm like, okay, I can do the notes. It's got a matter of coloring them correctly, you know? And at that point in my life, I didn't play lead guitar. So I literally had to learn by ear, play the record over and over. Wow. And just like, how do you, how was he doing the solo in Purple Rain? How was he doing the solo in Let's Go Crazy? I had to like learn it. And I have friends to help me like, this is one lick I can't catch. What is he doing there? You know, that kind of type of stuff. Um, and then I had to watch the movie over and over and over and over and over again to just get his mannerisms down, the way he moves his eyes, the way he, his mouth, wow. you know, just everything. And I just had to like study him. Crazy. Well, you've made up for me because I have to be honest, I own the movie. I've never seen Purple Rain. What? Um, I gotta go. Different. See you later. Excuse Bye. me? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. No, Sir. no. Well, I, I, I actually, I, I have Prince records on vinyl. I've, I've got like um, the family and Vanity Six and Apollonia Six. Like, like, like I love the music. I've just, I think, it came on cable you know, around the time when I was a kid when it first came out, and I was just like, it, it didn't intrigue me. So, so that's what maybe I'll spend my Thanksgiving um, <laughs> Thursday. Wow. Curled wow, up that's in a crazy. ball of shame in my bed watching Purple Rain. But, but I own it. I've, I've just never, like, I, wow. I, I've, I've got bootlegs of him performing, you, you know, so, so like, I, I like Prince, but but it's just, you know, I've never seen Purple Rain. So <laughs> I, I think that's because you have seen it so many times. I have to give you, you're just kind of balancing out my neglect right there. So I, I can't believe you had the balls to actually say you've never seen it though. That's I got to give you some points on that. Well, I, you wow. got to, man. You, you got to be truthful. You got to tell the fucking yes. truth, man. You got you to. Yeah. Truth. Thank you for sharing your truth, buddy. I, um, I, so many times over and over again on the show. I mean, I, I feel yeah. like I feel like I've seen Purple Rain maybe two times, which is uh, two times not enough. Um, maybe <laughs> 10 times not enough, to be honest. 
but um it's amazing to hear your story because it is I don't know like uh, there have been moments in 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 my like I'm I'm a theater kid like I I went to college for theater and oh cool there were a lot of moments where you know somebody would be like hey I want I want you to do this and you're like well I I can't there's no way I can do that and they're like no nah, but but you're gonna and I'm like and and then you literally have to scramble you have to learn everything you possibly can to yeah. do it the right way and if it works out, then it works out. Like that's kind of um yep. I don't know, that's kind of how I found the cell phones. That's how I found my band. Um, it was literally like one of my old college friends being like, Hey, do you want to sing in my band that I have with my friend? And I was like, oh, okay. I I fairly sang in a band. I sang You have a good music. voice, by the way. I, I have to stop because I was gonna tell you, I looked at one of your live videos, I'm like, your voice is pretty damn good. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I was like, well, good, good chops on there. I was like, nice. Thanks. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's, it was interesting when I heard like what Justin and Ryan were doing together. And it was not music I'd ever thought to sing to, but I found a way and I love it. I love literally yeah. every minute of it. I love the music that has opened up to me because I play in this kind of genre of, of, of music. Um, and yeah. Uh, it was cool to kind of like blow everybody else's minds to be like, oh, you know, it doesn't have to just be dudes screaming all the time. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like you have this like music that you would think like, rah, rah, you know, kind of and yeah. just yelling and you're actually singing mm-hmm. and it sounds good. Like the the quality of the notes are good, you know. Thank you. I was like, oh, wow, it's, it's a very, very good combination. Yeah, but no, yeah. like your your story literally like is uh, to me, it's like that's the mark of a performer right there. Like that's somebody who like. I don't know. You didn't let any any of you didn't let anything stop you. And I've seen I've seen your videos too. Like even though just the most recent one that yeah uh, that you did uh, in October, uh, they had a couple. I saw a couple videos from that, and my God, like you look the part, you act <laughs> the part. Like that that purple guitar, holy shit! Like I just got that one. Too. I know. Yeah, it, it's it's amazing. Oh I I think you are. Yeah. I'm and 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 you're are you getting like good audiences that are just like like ready to come back and rock to some prints? Oh yeah. Oh awesome. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah. And it's always been that way, but um of the audiences we've been getting lately are just awesome. In fact, our last show was going to be something that's going to stick in my head for the rest of my life because Aww. I've had people like cry and you know, and at first it was kind of strange for me like why are you crying meeting me? I'm just like of nobody and you know, I'm not actually Prince, but they, just because I was doing a Prince show, I get it. They're emotional. But this one woman, we had, we were in Philly and uh, we were in, a, in the, uh, the hotel just having like a, an after show drink. We just hanging out and it's, it, it wasn't a lobby, but it was in a glass room so people could see in. And this woman and this guy were walking down the hall and I could see them outside of the door and I, wasn't sure, but she was looking and she was kind of like bending over like, oh my God, like, and I'm like, she can't be doing that because of me. I'm like, no way. I'm like, whatever. I'm just drinking, having my drink, whatever. And I kept looking, she kept looking at me and she finally goes, is that you? I'm like, uh, yeah. She goes, oh my God. She was just like, she couldn't barely stand up. And the guy was just standing there kind of like laughing, like, oh my God, this, she's freaking out. And so I said, come in here, come join us, you know, and I invited her in. I said, come have a drink with us. And she could barely talk. She was crying so hard. She was like, I love Prince so much. And you did, so, you know, she was there at the show and she was, I was like, oh my God, that's, this is why I do the shows is for people like her. I mean, looking at the shows and people having a good time, that's why I do it. But people like her who literally genuinely are having so much of a good time. That's like, I was like, wow, that she was crying so much. She could barely talk. And that was her first date with that guy she was with. And he <laughs> bought her the ticket. He was going to bought her the ticket. I'm thinking, boy, you're gonna get laid tonight. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so you and he was um, so cool about it because she was just like, oh, and she was like, you know, kept hugging me and he was totally cool about it. I'm like, that's awesome that you're very confident, you know. So that was a very good like memory that I'm gonna keep in my head. And we're actually friends now on, on Facebook because Aww. yeah, yeah. So she's yeah, that was very cool. I, I'm just interested in um you've traveled all over the country doing this. Um yep. and um you know, as a, I think Prince has inspired 
just the androgyny and and uh, the flamboyance and and obviously the artistry, the LGBTQIA yeah. community so 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 much, and I think has inspired so many of us. Yeah. Um, and 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 just <clears throat> excuse me, the freaks and and the geeks and but um. And, and I adore that that art exists, like that, that early art exists, I think is so important oh, to yeah. the communities. But, but I've always kind of struggled and wondered too, because I, 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 I've read some things about him, but I understand that there was kind of, apparently it turned his back, got very religious and kind of yeah. turned his back on those communities, the LGBT community. Yeah. Um, a, is that true? And B, how do we reconcile that? You, you, you know, is it just the fact that he was so important in his early days and really, I think, probably inspired and saved lives, you know, like these kids, these yeah. kids in small towns who, you know, the only thing that they had were people like Prince and David Bowie and things like that. Who I, who, and Bowie, I also find problematic as well and, and, and some things as well as, as you know, as much of an icon and as inspiring. Oh, I love Bowie. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so how do we, is that something we can reconcile? You know, how do you reconcile that as a, as a queer man? You, you know, um, is it something we, we just have to like forget? I mean, know? I think, well, early on, even Prince was very back and forth with his, his sexualness that he had on stage. And even during like the Purple Rain tour, there was a, a footage, I forgot, where it was or the exact year but right around that tour um there was a part in the show where he's playing piano he's like talking to god and he goes but they like it when i talk dirty or talk nasty and he's yeah. like he's talking to god there was a, a light shining down on him like yeah. a single light and like it was god talking to him and so even back then he was struggling with the whole sexualness you know yeah, yeah. and then later on i did hear he was going door to door uh preaching you know so i don't know i mean yeah um yeah i don't know if he was totally against the whole gay scene and stuff like that um you know hopefully not because he was always such a open kind of artist you know yeah. it's like your yeah. own thing type i thing. have seen i've seen a couple articles where they talk about kind of him being like hey prince was really a conservative christian um and and it's kind of to me it's like what i always loved about prince was the fact that he came from minnesota like yeah. that came from mm -hmm. Minnesota which is <laughs> I mean Minneapolis is a wonderful place my dad used to live there um he loved it very much um I think he felt pretty good there um he always talks about like moving back my uh my my brother is now at University of Minnesota um and my dad loves the Vikings like so goddamn much um also <laughs> little, little little side note that I know that my dad will not want me to share ever but I'm gonna and I'm just gonna say it may or may not be true but my dad got invited to whatever Prince's like nightclub is, but he got invited to like some special upstairs area where there was just like a room full of beds. And Prince was like having sex with somebody like in the middle of these beds. And all of the couples that got invited were like, well, when in Rome. And so my dad had sex near Prince. Oh Basically he had sex really? with Prince. I mean, and it's so funny because he like he told me that story and he kind of didn't really get into it because he was like, man, I was so nervous. Like, that was so weird. But wow. in my head, the rest of the story goes that Prince just walked around naked to everybody and he like locks eyes with my dad. And then he really? just kind of like and then he just kind of like brushes his face. And then dad, my, my dad just like jizzes everywhere. <laughs> this is not the story that he told me, but it's the story. He doesn't have to say that it's the story. But that's the story. That's how the that's how it ends, and that's my ending for my father's story. I don't know how it ended for him, but I'm pretty sure it ended like that. So that's pretty wild. Like to me, that's like to me, like a man who does that that kind of stuff, and also a man who just is Prince. Like he is, he is a like he knew so much about music. He knew so much about music, and he he did it on his own terms no yep. matter what like he literally was i'm not going to do what you want me to do oh do you want me to not like use my name anymore i won't like he was like such a if anything he was just like a like i don't necessarily see him as like kind of a gay icon or even like a queer icon i see him as like in like a you know just a freak flag flyer yeah. in the sense that he yeah. just he he didn't oh, yeah. care he didn't care 
and it and you know for better or for worse yep. he didn't give a shit about exactly. one thought he literally would just walk on like you know a bunch of all-star like a stage full of all-stars and just do his thing throw his guitar in the air where does it land it doesn't um that's like my favorite <laughs> clip of him just throwing the guitar in the air yep. and you're like where did it go it, i yep. don't know where it went um <laughs> He just he know he didn't give a shit and he, and 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 I think all the way to the end he did not give a shit yeah. about what people thought, yeah. gay or straight, you know, progressive or conservative. He didn't give a shit. So it's kind of yeah. like one of those things where it's like you can, you can kind of say that and be and be like, well, I don't know how to reconcile that. But it's also mm-hmm. like he didn't care. Like sometimes you just won't ever get through. Also, he was old, you know, it's like kind of one of those, okay, boomer. Like (laughs) I I, I was, maybe he doesn't have to be reconciled. You know, I, I'm, I was just curious, you you, you know, like, I I know I have, you know, I'm just like, Hmm. hmm." You know, the art always stands. The freakiness always always stands. Even if, you know, 20 years later, he went like, ah, I'm not, I I, I don't believe more. What what have you? It's it's there. There's videos. There's a testament. That'll always inspire people. Sure. Yeah, it's I'm same with curious same with Bowie too. Yeah. Same with you know? Bowie. I mean, you know, I loved Bowie. I remember when it's funny when 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 Prince died, Dad and I were literally on the computer at the same time, to, like talking about music. And I was just showing him an article on Pitchfork or something, yeah. and and immediately like it refreshed, and Prince was dead, and it was like, oh shit. And like when do, when Bowie died, I cried. I cried like a baby. Did yeah. not think I would, but I did. And I knew, like, I knew all the weird, sketchy stuff, like about the underage groupies, like all, yes. all that. Like, that's absolutely. really colored my my yeah. of his art. I have to say, I, I, totally. I, I, it's I can still throw some vinyl on and enjoy it. And I, I, I was just I was just jamming around. I, I did this mix with um uh turning out the fire like 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 putting putting out the fire the cat mm-hmm. people theme fucking amazing fucking oh, amazing. yeah and so yeah. amazing to like kind of pound around the city to that um uh, especially late at night downtown chicago all the lights you, you know but uh yeah i have an enormous enormous that every time i see his photo every time i listen to him i, I just just you know i i that is I, I have a hard time getting over that with Bowie. I, I, yeah there's been a lot of of that like you know musicians and stuff and some I can take and some I can leave like like there's been a lot where like uh oh no Gabriel come back to us (laughs) sorry oh you're okay you're still there though that's cool um yeah like uh you know like yeah Bowie I'll keep him on my playlists um but when Ariel Pink like said a bunch of crap and then went to the January 6th thing everybody canceled him and I was just kind of like ah yeah, I liked his music a little bit. Eh. I saw him. At, I saw him at the metro. Eh. Like, it was like okay to be like, yeah, you don't need to be on my playlist anymore. It's fine. I don't care. But like, <laughs> sometimes the big ones, you just yeah, you can't. You can't even. I I I. Every now and then, I I'll hear Michael Jackson, and I'll be oh, like, I can't. Whoa, like I'm like can't. we're we're still playing that, but it's like, can't. it's hard. It's it you know, and I know that there are a lot of people who are like. There's Even so- my 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 dad works in radio and he talks about that a lot where he's just kind of like, you know, people will cancel them for a little bit, but every now and then they'll be like, I really want to listen to that again. It's yeah, hard. I and I was a huge Michael fan, still I am. Sure. Absolutely. I yeah. Well, I was, kind of, oh, sorry. Yeah, they're in the same vein, kind of, Prince and Michael Jackson. I mean, they 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 both yeah, I mean they both are 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 they were musicians at the top of their game. Yeah. Some sketchy shit. Sketchy shit happens at the top. Of you know, course. I was at an event that this weekend and Priscilla Presley was there. What? Uh, Charging 80 bucks to sign. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Priscilla. But, but I would have almost gone up to just um because that that was abuse right there. I mean, she was under underage, way underage. And oh, Elvis yeah. kind of preyed on her and yeah. some weird shit. Like I, you know, would make her stay in the bedroom with them for days with the lights out like all this weird like how can you be a teenager and and a young mm. teenage girl and, and and have this older man who just wants to like clutch you in a bed with the lights out for a day i, I mean just so yeah. uh, or even like uh like ronnie specter i always think about her yeah. i always think about i think about ronnie specter when she you know like phil specter would let her leave the house 
Yeah. Like he was really? weird really? about, yeah, he, yeah. he wouldn't oh let God. her leave the house. He was very weird. I mean, obviously he was a murderer. <laughs> like yeah. he yeah. is a murderer. So he was a little, a little crazy. Um, mm-hmm. But in the end, when he died, like Ronnie just kind of did a Facebook or an Instagram post that was just kind of like, hey, he was a great guy, terrible husband, but I still, but she still had fond things to say. And I was wow. like, okay, like, right, Ronnie. is this, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's, you know, it's like, you can, you can only do so much. They're going to feel the way they feel and you're going to yeah. feel the way you feel. And you, you, yeah, it's like, it's depending on kind of, your 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 wishes and your wanting to like promote or not like I just try really hard I think I I made a rule to myself to never like 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 bash a woman even if I don't agree with them because I'm like women are always always bashing each other and I just am like I'm not gonna be one of those I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna be one of those people so even if somebody does something that I do not appreciate or I do not think is right, I'll just be like, I don't think what you did there is right. But also yeah. like, I would like to yeah. support you as a woman. I don't know. It's It's been hard, especially with all the Karens and the, oh the white God. women right. that voted for Trump. I, it's hard. It's hard, <laughs> but I am trying to give them grace. Well, they uh, might be among the lost, as in yeah. <laughs> the lost boys, which we must talk about, Gabriel, because hey! like, oh my God. got that same... <laughs> kind of musical vibe we've got yep. sweaty naked half naked saxophone dude yep <laughs> i <laughs> love that not, movie it's, it's it's one of the gayest um horror films ever i mean joel schumacher was gay uh, i mean beautiful boys everywhere um, <laughs> dude i had a friend, I had friend who be, i had a friend who uh, ended up in joel schumacher in a i had a friend who ended up in joel, Sh- joel schumacher's uh hotel or apartment or hotel room Mm -hmm. in new york and he had a wonderful story about it where it was just basically like joel just like kind of ooing and awing over my friend's physique he is very (laughs) good he's the lead singer of planet booty he's a tasty boy um they're from they're from california um they are touring currently um but uh he had a really fun story about joel schumacher that was very like you know an old older man being like oh hi there (laughs) (laughs) i'm joel (laughs) joel um awesome so let's talk about lost boys dude yeah what's your yeah you mentioned that is music that kind of got you into it like everything else i mean what was like i mean i love horror films but it's like and that is a horror film but to me it had like the comedy aspect to it so that was like you know it was kind of like not as serious it was like parts were like oh yeah obviously it's not like a hardcore horror film like it you know like that was yeah. there was like it was not supposed to be funny at all yeah. where some of those things some of the uh the scenes in there was just um you know funny and, and then it had the the coolness still and i i mean i love the whole vibe of it completely it's just awesome the great great story you know acting wasn't the best obviously but you know Fondo, fun, yeah. Fun. Pat- Patrick's gonna come hunt you down now. <laughs> he takes his art very seriously. That Jason Patrick, um, Kiefer was the- awesome in there though. I, I love Kiefer in there. He was, yeah. he was Kiefer is so sexy. Ke- Kiefer is a tasty boy. I think he's yeah. tasty even now. I yeah. love yes. Kiefer Southern. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Do you yeah. know what his full name is? Kiefer forever. You know what? It's no. Kiefer. It's Kiefer Frederick William Dempsey George Rufus Sutherland. What? Yeah, look it up on IMDb. Oh my I memorized it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Holy yeah, shit. yeah. I don't know what I. Got I a name pick... for every inch of cock. I pick... Ooh. <laughs> Does he have a? Do you know if he has a big dick? Um, I I, I have heard stories that I'm not going to tell about Kiefer. One of my best best friends um was out in LA for many years, and she w- would not know that, but but she does have some crazy she was not she she did an arc on 24 and, and this is what i can say about it. he was very very sweet she she did um like four or five episodes on the last first season of 24 and they were doing the rap party and she went to the rap party and they hadn't put her name on the list and she was like she had her roommates with her and she's like oh, okay but she saw Kiefer like close by and she was like he was she was if Kiefer tells me it's okay to come in can I come in? And he's like, yeah, of course. So she she waved to him and he went, oh, Carl, love. And, and she was like, listen, I'm not on the list. He goes, he, and, and he said, he goes, he goes, he told the guy, he goes, 
this last season of 24 would not have happened without her character. You better fucking let her in, you know? And they're like, oh. okay, fine. So, so he, he, he seems like a nice guy. That's but, cool. but she does have some crazy wild keeper on the town drinking stories so dude i've seen some i've seen some great videos there's one video where he just is like slurring at the camera and then just runs at a christmas tree like in a hotel and just tackles it to the ground yeah. i was like oh oh shit oh shit, oh, shit. <laughs> i think he's a lot better now but i yeah. hear he used to be freaking wild um wow. i love him That's awesome. yeah he's great when, when, uh, the first time i actually saw Lost Boys. I think I was already, I was already like later in high school or into college when Lost Boys came out. So I came back home and uh, one of my high school buddies, um, Michael, who who is gay as well, uh, we were watching it um, and I was seeing it for the first time. I don't know if we would rented it or it was on HBO or, or whatever, but apparently um, he was playing a drinking game with his friends his first year of college and they watched Lost Boys and you had to pick a certain word or a phrase yeah and um he was like oh, i'll just pick my name because i don't and of course and you have to drink every time the word you pick is is, is said so of course there's a the jason patrick character is named michael and they chant his name <laughs> michael 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 so oh michael's like <laughs> piss pissed drunk like piss wow. and drunk. like just got so drunk watching lost boys and and um Dude, I, I love making I love making uh I love making drinking games to movies or even TV shows like I have a good like world of dance uh drinking game because they always do the same shit like Jennifer Lopez always says oh that dance gave me gooseies and anytime she <laughs> says that you really? have to drink Jennifer yeah she Lopez literally gooseies it's stupid <laughs> it's stupid <laughs> I well, watched that. The woman in the bar who saw Gabrielle's Prince got gooseys too. Yeah. So maybe having a gooseys is not a bad thing. Dude, she got like, she got massive gooseys. Yeah. Yeah. Gabrielle, like... I mean, how many have you hit all the states? Like, where have you gone with the Prince experience? You, you know, have, have I what? Have you gone all over the US? Have you? Uh, yeah. Um, not every state yet. Um, like, we haven't been to California yet that far. Ooh. Yeah. Want to. Um, but yeah, we've gone to Texas, Florida. Um, where, where, we're in Ohio there? more than any other state. It's crazy. I don't Ohio. know why. We're in like Ohio so many times. We're like, what the fuck? Cincinnati, Weird. you know, just Akron. We're there so many times. And because there's nothing else there. going on but the Prince experience. <laughs> Do you know, like, Ohio is, like, the most memed state? Like, people literally, like, make weird memes about, like, Ohio, about, like, whether it's good or bad or taking over. I don't even know. But Ohio is, like, the most memed state. And me and huh. my friend Garrett, who's from Ohio, I, I was in I was in Ohio for, call, for high school. Um, and uh, it's funny, but that's really interesting. Cause you know how like sometimes you'll get like like maps and they'll be like everyone's favorite word in each state or like everyone's favorite soda in each state. Like I wonder if if you yeah. like polled everyone in the state favorite artist, <laughs> would Ohio just be Prince and everybody be like, that's weird. Why is it Prince? Because oh <laughs> like Minnesota, sure, but if it's Ohio, like yeah, we're like, what's Ohio doing? But it's yeah. you. It's just you going to going to Ohio a bunch. <laughs> Yeah, they got some serious fans out there. Like the last time we were out there, in fact, one of the last shows out there, um, and this has never happened before. It was crazy. Um, this one woman was getting really excited at whatever, and she's like, I could hear her talking. We we have what they call in-ear monitors. I'm sure you know oh, yeah. what those are. Like. So, you know, I the crowd is normally, you can't hear them well because I have the, my ears plugged, and yeah. there's like the band playing in there. But you can hear the crowd through the other microphones, you know, but I could hear her. Yeah, 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 you go. I can hear her saying that. I'm like, okay, she's into it. That's great. And then everybody was into it. We're doing Purple Rain, and that part where he gets, honey, I know, I know that part. I could feel she was literally in front on the stage, pretty much like right in front. She was pounding on the stage so hard, I could feel my boots shaking when I said, honey, I know. She goes, yeah, you go, you get it, boy. You know, I'm like, oh my God, she's like really into it, right? And like, so the next song by the next song, she, we were doing like 1999 or something like that and i looked down i saw something fly on the, the floor like in front of her towards me and i looked i said is that a fucking wig she fucking took her wig off 
and threw it at me. I was like, what do you do? What do you do when somebody throws your wig at you? So I picked it up and I'm, I'm like r- r- rubbing it on my dick and just I was like, about to say, what, instant is- pube hair, instant pube <laughs> right. hair. And then I'm thinking, well, does she want it back? I don't know. So I kind of threw it down by her so she could grab it. And then my, my keyboard player, I don't know when he did it, but he somehow went up to the front of the stage during the show and grabbed it. He put it on, took a picture of it and stuff. It was so funny. I'm like, oh my God. And she ended up, I posted about it because he also took video of me doing that whole flipping it and rubbing my, my dick with the, the wig. And so I posted it on our, our page and I'm like, what do you do when a woman throws her wig at you? And she actually commented, oh, I'm so sorry. I was so excited. I had to throw my wig at you. Like, that was great. I guess it's like, it's never happened. Don't they throw a shoe when you sound really good? So maybe. <laughs> yeah, if you do a good performance. If you, she yeah, threw, you threw her a wig, shoe. baby, you were on fire. Right? You were on oh fire. <laughs> do you remember that there was a thing on Designing Women where Suzanne goes, you only get one good wig, babe. You never, you never destroy that wig. You only get one good wig. So <laughs> she did not listen to Suzanne Sh- Sugar Baker. That's for sure. Right? Dude, we're, it's 2021, man. Everyone's wearing wigs now. Yeah. Everyone. Lace fronts. Everybody's doing that shit now. Yeah. Dude, I wear a wig. I look like a completely different person. It's hilarious. My own Same friends here. will walk right by me. Um, Dude, okay, now I want like a horror film that's like, you know, a rabid fan. And instead of like throwing a wig, they like crawl on and they eat your face or something. That would be terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that would be that'd be so scary. The and it only like, out, like o- the wolf man. You know? Only only like only themed like cover bands that are just like of prints. <laughs> that would be so wild. Would what would you even call film. what would you call that movie? What would you call a prince? movie about a prince cover band where like a, a woman is just like constantly like just trying to kill she's so into the that she just crawls on stage like under a demon. the howling moon as opposed to under the cherry moon <laughs> that's uh, a good one can we call it let's get one, let's get crazy but crazy's all like covered there you in go blood. That, that's a that's a great one right there <laughs> uh ah. rain only r-e-i-g-n i don't know um Raspberry Burslay. <laughs> there you go. These oh, are bad. Nice. These there are bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not as good at this. Brian, I'm sure by the end of this, you're going to have a wonderful one, and I'm just going to let you know. I, I, let I that don't know. Stew. I, I, let that I don't stew. know. I, I've got graffiti bridge in my head, but what, 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 do you, what, what, what would be on the bridge besides graffiti? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like blood and guts but how, how, how do you connect that with the graffiti i don't know i do not know yeah okay i'm having a hard <laughs> time now, now, um uh you like the old school stuff too correct like, yeah i mean i've like always claude I've always rains liked to kind of and, watch like the old yeah the wolfman kind of type stuff Lon and, Chaney, yeah yeah you know it's like what's well, so tragic that 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 story because because i just think um and i've heard this about him despite you know uh the alcoholism that he he he, he was a just a great guy, Lon Chaney. And I think that really yeah. and comes out in that original Wolfman. He's just such a sweet, nice guy and he gets bitten and his life just is, is ended yep. because of this curse. And so, I, A, I just think like the sets in the church and Evelyn Anchors, who's one of my favorites, who's like kind of the romantic in, interests and uh, yeah. Rhea Opkin, Opkinskaya, who I know I'm not saying that right, but is just the amazing gypsy woman the, the, the character actor is just what a what a cast and yeah so sad though like like so sad like <laughs> and it kind of could happen to any of us dude lon, lon chaney is another example of of you gabriel in the sense that that man worked his ass off when he knew he had to do a movie like that one movie and i know i'm gonna forget it is it the horror the terror the one where he like literally like plays a guitar with his feet where he like pretends to be lon- so to, to the dad. So you're talking Lon Chaney? Yeah. Okay. I was talking about Lon Chaney. Because Lon, about- Lon Chaney Jr., the son, is the wolf man. But Lon oh, Chaney. But, but I'm talking no, about no, Lon, Lon Chaney Senior. Lon Chaney Senior. Yeah. Yep. Lon Chaney Senior. Um, he but he was he was like he was like wildly places. yeah, he was wildly committed to his roles, so much so that he would do all kinds of stuff like to contort his body in a way that but it was like it's either the terror or the horror. I forget what it's called. But it's the one where he has no arms, and he oh, pretends to with be with Joan Crawford, right? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joan Crawford's yes. in it, like yes. super young. Uh-huh. Um, but he play he pretends that he doesn't have any, or he like he's like a circus freak that doesn't like, have he, arms. I think, he, I think it's it, that's a freaky film because I think he has arms and pretends he doesn't, and then to get her sympathy, he has them. He cuts removed. his arms off. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! Really? Yeah. yeah and it's, it's and it's, and it's the crazy. whole thing is that the whole crazy. thing is that uh, like the big strong man. She's like, no, get away. I don't like men yeah. in their in their creepy hands and their arms touching me. And Lon Chaney's like, don't worry about it, honey. I don't have arms, so I'll never do that to you. And yeah. then it's like, you know, they you know at the end of the night they like unwrap him so he can have his arms back. But like in between, he's like freaking shooting arrows with his feet. He's he's playing guitar with his feet. Like he's he's lighting a cigarette with his feet. Wow. And he literally like spent. He- the, unknown is what it's called. the unknown that's what it is uh-huh. um and as I, I so subtly brought my phone up thank you, you know. no i've i've done it before too um, <laughs> <laughs> it's nice in the lady wig area i.e the, the yeah crotch area my lady wig area is the where i'm holding wig area, my... <laughs> where you put ladies wigs in your crotch in your oh, crotch Lord. lady wig area but yeah i i love i love the old stuff um whenever we would do uh, we do music box of horrors very often in chicago um and they they'll they'll like usually start with some really old ones and the unknown was one of the ones that i was like very affected by because i was like that is a weird Mm-hmm. concept of a movie and Lon Chaney obviously like went balls to the wall was like well I'm gonna learn how to do shit with my feet even though I don't really have to they just <laughs> they just like there are so many other things they could have done and he didn't care he was just like no I'm gonna do this this is fine <laughs> he's amazing but it's yeah like back in the day like you had to do that kind of stuff to make things scary yeah um so yeah so like uh where when where did uh, I love asking this question like where did horror start for you like when did you when did you start getting into it what was the first like movie that you really like remember being like oh shit I want to I, mean, I want to I want to watch horror well like when I was I don't know I mean I think in just growing up just seeing like the old the old you know Dracula sure. Wolfman Frankenstein just they're obviously they were like already like old already they were like black and white and stuff but mm-hmm. i was like oh well, those still got to me i'm like oh those are so cool and i would watch them at night you know they would be on at night there was the certain weekends or whatever that they would they would do it and have a I remember summer nights for some reason i'm picturing like a summer nights and you know watching like the, the wolf man or something i'm like, all scared kind of watching it and having the lights all off except for the tv i you love know? it that's awesome and see that that's like a i don't know that's a that's something I can relate to for sure. So it's yeah, that's, image. yeah, it's a lovely image. Very um, mm-hmm. <laughs> so then uh, do you, do you keep, try to keep current with the current stuff or do you kind of just watch like the ones that, the ones that uh, attra- or like, like, yeah, how, how, how often do you make a point to go get new horror into your face? Um, here and there. I mean, I love movies in general. Um, at one point, I was like so bad. I would go to the movies. I'm like, oh my god, I've seen every single one except for the one I'm seeing right now. I'm like, that's bad. <laughs> that's how much I love movies, you know. And like, I like everything. That's awesome. But, I uh, mean, there was one year where I I had to give myself a whole pat on the back because uh, what they like upped the, you know, they upped the Oscar nominations of Best Picture to like ten or a million. And <laughs> one year, I remember just somehow it worked out but at the end of oscar season i was like i've seen every single best picture nomination <laughs> that's pretty cool like i remember thinking i was pretty cool that year i was like holy shit You're but pretty cool every year come on <laughs> Whatever. um but yeah it's it's kind of like you know um yeah i'm the same I, I i love movies uh has the pandemic slowed you down like have you been watching more like online um, no, I mean, I kind of like surf through like through like Netflix or whatever. Cool. Um, just on di- all different kinds of stuff, you know, just. Yeah, I feel like the know, streaming, whatever's... yeah, the streaming services have really just been delivering because they know we're all just watching this. Yeah. In, in our homes. <clears throat> um, like I just, it, I just came back at the town. I was in Florida for a week just to go chill. Mm. And the new Ghostbusters came out. 
And uh, I went to go see it while I was out there. Like, oh, yeah, I got to go see it. With the sexiest man alive, Paul Rudd. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> I saw that. that he was Which on I, the I would agree with. I would agree with. He's, he um, is... Did you guys see it yet or no? No, I, have I yet. haven't seen I it. I, are, are you? I'm a big fan of, was it the 2016 one with, with, with the, the women? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the women one. I love that one. Yes. I love it. I wonder when we're going to get that back. Lately, it's been it's been funny. Um, I've been watching SNL. It's not been so great this season. Yeah. Good, good God. Um, I've been kind of sad because you it's got like, ten minutes of Taylor Swift the other week. Come on, we sure did. <laughs> oh, which was a which was a lot. It was a, it was a lot. Like it's a it's a comedy show, and she just was like, "Here's my soul, basically." Yeah. Like. <laughs> Here's Jake Gyllenhaal. She's like, my baby sister. So I know. I, I know you love her. her. I love her. I love but her. yeah, um, I don't know. Like Kate McKinnon has been nowhere to be seen. She she is in the cast still because she's listed. Kate McKinnon was the girl who played yeah. Holtzman. Yeah, 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 in, yeah, yeah, in yeah, the, yeah. And she was Our my lesbian favorite. lesbian friend. Everybody's lesbian friend. Dude, she was yeah. my favorite. She's awesome. my favorite character. She's, I mean, because she was the pretty much the female Egon, which I love. Yeah. Um. But uh, even when I even the cartoon, I was into Egon. <laughs> but uh, I love her so much, and she's just nowhere on SNL. And then I'm also like, but are you gonna make another female Ghostbusters, Kate? Why why won't you come back? I think <laughs> that did so poorly and got so lambasted by the by the, the, the by neck old... by neck by neck beards. Yeah, by neck beards. That. Um, <laughs> yeah. Which I think every nerdy dude turns into, whether whether they're way two pounds and 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 you know can't grow facial hair, gray mouth <laughs> breathers. Or, uh, yeah, it also they, they become, become, but um, did you like the new one? Did you like the new one? Actually, I, I did. I okay, did. I everyone was, seems to be liking it. it I thought it was very well well done. Um, cameos were awesome, but it's like somebody else that I know saw it. I'm like. They're like, oh yeah, I just saw it yesterday too. I'm like, did you like it? I was, I thought they're gonna go, yeah. And he's like, I hated it. I'm like, what? Uh-huh. He said because it wasn't like the old ones. I'm like, well then you should have gone gone and watched the old fucking movies then, because it was it's not played. <laughs> did you say it just like door. that to him? <laughs> it's it's cool. yeah, I did. I told him. I said, well, you should have watched the old fucking movie then. You know, it's like, what, what, is that why you didn't like it? And because you said because it's not placed in the same city. It's in it's in like. You know, the, the pretty much the middle of like nowhere. I was like, it looks like where I grew up. I grew up in a small town of six hundred, like a farm yeah. town of six hundred, with Amish buggies yeah. and and blacksmiths. So, and, and I was like, I thought it was awesome. It was a great story. Um, it, yeah, I I liked it. I liked it now, a lot. Is it hard? I, I'm just curious too. Like, how um, involved with the Prince experience when, when you're touring? Like, do you do all the bookings? Do you? you know take care oh, no. of the band I, I mean do you have a team that does that for you or is that something that where you're kind of nose to the grind grind doing it yourself well um i have an agent i have an agent that that books all the shows okay um so he handles all that and whenever the, a show comes in like there's a certain um amount that i have to make basically to cover everything to make sure everything's covered whether it's like with travel paying the band yep. whatever that type of stuff and if he's not sure, I'll go, okay, this is like, they're, sh- they're throwing this offer at us. And so we'll talk that way. So he handles that. And then I have a different guy. Once the show's booked, um, he also sends an email to the, this uh, friend of mine who handles calling each venue to making sure they have all the right stuff, lighting, um, sound, you know, the, the PA system. Um, everything we have on our, the rider. When like a, a fruit 10 bottles ride. of pink champagne and... <laughs> nutted peanut M and M's, you right. know, all, all, all those crazy things. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So interesting. Now, did you assemble the band yourself? I do. Yes. Okay. Wow. Um, I do that myself, and it took me a while because, you know, most people in bands like to drink, yeah, okay. and do do drugs. Unfortunately, I don't. I I drink. I've never been drunk in my life, but I like to drink wine, sweet wine. Yeah. Um. But. When I'm playing, I don't ever drink. It's very rare that if you see me playing like a solo show, yeah. very rare will you see a, a, a wine glass in my hand. You know, something has to be like a special friend showed up or it's a birthday or something. So it took me years to find the right group of people to understand that this level has to be way up here for the show. And if you're drunk and buzzed, that you're not going to be playing to the that certain level because your mind's going to be a little bit 
wobbly. Yeah. And uh, and I'm I'm paying them a lot. I paid them a lot on purpose because I expect a lot. So I was like, yeah, this is the reason why I'm paying you. So I fired so many people throughout the years. You know, they would like lie to me. I'm like, dude, you're drunk. No, I'm not, dude. I'm not swear. I'm like, I can smell it on you. What the fuck? You know, and <laughs> I just like, this is your last show. Thank you. I, but I don't need you anymore. And wow. wow. You know, go to the next person, you know. And, wow. and then they have to also, you know, be in a certain level playing wise, but then like not be drunk on stage before or during. And then they have to be also be cool with the rest of the bands. That's another aspect people don't think about. If somebody's like a dick or an asshole, like I've literally fired people more than once for being annoying, you know, just for being an asshole. <laughs> One of them was an asshole. Like he's just a dick. Like the first thing uh, he did to our, our bass player when he first joined, he shook his hand. He's like, um, this is Will, this is our, our bass player, Will. This is the new, the new guy playing guitar. Like the, the guitar player shook his hand. He said, he literally said, I'm not lying. He goes, hey bro, how you doing? Weak ass handshake, you gotta work on that. That's what he said. The first thing he said, I'm like, really? Do you just say that to him? You got to work on your handshake. It's, and I'm like, and that's how it just snowballed. He would just say shit like that all the time, and he just got on my nerves because of that. Like, I just he was that type of person, and I was just like, I can't deal with you anymore. And everybody else didn't like him either. Just they were like, just get him the hell. Like he was so homophobic. <laughs> this is a great story. So, what? oh yeah, <laughs> he was, and I so I would I would fuck with him. So he would tell me, I love hot showers, super, super, super hot showers, right? And uh, it got on the, the point where it's like, oh, you got to take cold, cold showers, brah. And I'm like, fuck you. And I you know, just started, you know, it started with that. And then he, then, he, then he started going, you need to also wear compression shorts. I'm like, I don't need compression shorts. I'm like, I mean, I wear tight enough underwear as it is, but I don't need like that kind of like compression shorts or whatever. And he's like, nah, brah, you got, and he's like, I'm like, no, dude, in fact, I'm gonna take my underwear off. We were, I had to get ready for the show anyways. So I stood up, pulled my underwear and my pants all the way off my dick, just hanging there. And I goes, yeah, so this, and then the, the bass player, fuck yeah, he took his shirt off and he started stripping too. And the guy just got up, oh my God. And he ran out of the, the room. We were just dying laughing so hard. I'm like, you're such a dick, you know? Just because I knew that was going to get to him, just getting naked in front of him, you know, just he was so homophobic and I knew that. I'm like, oh, fuck you. How's this? You know, just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, That's he like... had to go. I'm like, yeah, you got to go. <laughs> you showed him a place where the ladies' wigs go. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. this is this is wild only because it's like uh, being, I mean, I've been in a band for. 13 years the same band with the same dudes um wow. and there and there have been times where we have been like wow you fucking suck right now um <laughs> and we've gotten really mad at each other but it's like we know that the three of us are the equation that works and it's yeah. like hard but if it's like yeah but if like you're the head of this like cover band where it's like anyone can learn prints there you go get out of my face like yeah that's pretty awesome that you but are I mean, that you don't take that you don't take no shit that's that's it, that's exactly awesome. but and you know what you're always going to argue with people like i don't oh, care yeah. if your friends your husband wife you're going to argue and then you're going to come back and it's going to be cool with him he was just an asshole totally you know? yeah. uh -huh. well, you like, i've got you... some assholes in my one-man band too like we're constantly internally <laughs> fighting yeah and, and see and my, I can't, my inner I can't asshole and my inner nice guy constantly fighting in my one man you band. you always want the wisdom to know the difference between <laughs> sometimes i just don't my one man band <laughs> the, the warring factions within look me. in the mirror and you're like you need to you need to step up buddy you need to step up <laughs> oh, come on you're you're slacking you're slacking brian one all right dude <laughs> Yeah, my 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 band has my husband in it. So, um Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> and we met like we met first day of band practice and then we were married and it was just kind of like, oh, there was one time where I I like went down to the green room and Ryan's just like madly practicing and I'm like, "Honey, what's up?" And he like looks up at me with these like bloodshot eyes and I'm like, "Did you go around the block? Did you smoke some weed?" And he was like, "Lindsay, I didn't know it was going to be so bad." I don't think I'm gonna do good, and it was literally like watching someone like play Guitar Hero bad. Oh my god! So it'd just be like, yeah. bang, bang, bang. 
and I would just look over at him and he would be playing bass just like madly and looking at me like, I'm so sorry. Like it was oh. so funny, but it was like a show where he, we could do that. And, and, and never again, he's never done it again. Never before we, and never again. I, I think we've all had a show where it's like, you know, especially, I mean, when we started this band, we were in our twenties and now we are well into our thirties. Um, and it was very like, oh, I can't do that anymore. Oh, we can't play that show or that song at that tempo anymore because we're yeah. old. Like, <laughs> Have you it, ever had that show, though, where your favorite male fan turned into you? Have you seen that episode of Friday the 13th with, Van- of, with Vanity, either of you? Mm-hmm. So my connection is the Vanity Prince thing. thing but there's a Friday the 13th, the series episode, where... Uh, Vanity plays a pop star and she's got this very androgynous male female fan and he gets the the charm from the shop you know because all the charms are cursed and he slowly but surely turns into Vanity so oh. this very androgynous you know fluidity like decades decades I mean this was like you know the, the mid 80s so um, wow yeah oh. it, I, I, it's definitely worth checking out just because it's just a, a very very bizarre way ahead of its time way ahead of its time just kind of gender issues and um all, all that kind of stuff and i also segued into that because i think before we let you go we have to talk about all right gabriel um apollonia or vanity Ooh, who wins um damn um I think I'll say Vanity. Okay. All right. All right. I like it. I like it. They're like all it. valid choices. It's they're a valid, valid choice. They're valid choices. The, the, the Apollonia 6 uh, LP is pretty, pretty bitching. The, the, there's a local um, record shop here in Andersonville. And I'll go in and one of the young, you know, white straight clerks will, will be playing that Apollonia 6 uh, LP, you know, Step <laughs> Shooter and all, all that. Like, and it's actually, yep. I was like, man, I was like, and I, which, which I own a vinyl as well. It's actually a pretty good fucking record. It, it, yeah. It's, it's really awesome. Okay, Apollonia or Sheila E? Oh, Sheila E. Sheila E, okay. bar none. Awesome. <laughs> there, was some, none. Like, there was some bitchiness going on, like, like between those two, like Apollonia. Like, and, and I'm just like, I'm just let it be. Let everyone have their stories with Prince. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, I'm sure you all have special moments with him. You, you know that are special to yourself yeah yep. but I, I was like oh and i always liked apollonia but i was like i was like leave sheila alone plus she's solid like she's oh, she's, she's an incredible musician yeah, I'm like, dude, incredible. she's she's insane i love she's her not a joke. yeah she's not, not to be messed joke. with <laughs> well yeah. hey do you do you have anything uh currently any shows coming up that you would like to promote um actually yes um i'm doing a benefit um for the Waukesha tragedy that just happened awesome um Tuesday December 14th um at a place called Saloon on Calhoun and uh it's uh it's going to be 10 dollars in the door and there's seven bands total I'm playing in two different bands um the Prince band is playing there my, my Prince band and then I, I said before that I have a band that I formed where I'm playing drums in mm-hmm. so we're doing that band's playing as well Wow. So there's a bunch of bands, really good top-notch bands that I picked from around the area. Um, so for oh, ten dollars, so you, you put this like, together. I'm sorry. You put this together then. I did. I awesome. did because I, when I I heard about it, just like I was like literally, my heart was crushed. I just needed to do something. Um, I'm also writing a song currently, writing a song, um, which just happened yesterday. Just my something told me like the inner. That happens to me sometimes. Like when something's gonna come out, something says, "Go to your guitar. Go to your piano." So I went to the, the piano and I started just tinkering around. All of a sudden, the song came out and thinking about the event. And then I'm like, okay, this is what I'm supposed to, why I'm supposed to sit down here and figure have all the proceeds go to the, the fan. There's a, a link you can put it to. So have all the proceeds go there. Nice. Then I'm thinking, nice. let's take it a step further and have a bunch of artists like in the area. Like if I wanted to, I could play the drums, guitar, keyboards for the song if I wanted to. But let's get everybody involved and I'll just maybe play piano and sing. And then have other singers do other verses and choruses and stuff like that. And just have everybody nice. together. And, nice. and then I have a, a video friend who does video. And I'm going to ask him to video record the song and throw it up to YouTube and then put the link on there and try to 
get all the money again, you know, have the link going to the, the, the families. So if everybody, you know, once it's up, hopefully people will start going to it and giving some money because I think it's important. Nice. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank yeah, thank you so much for that. Um Gabriel, you are a you are a musician through and through. Um you you it live in the Lady Wig area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pull pulsating from the, the cent your center your center uh -huh. chakra. The lady wig <laughs> chakra. There we go. I think you're onto something. <laughs> It's the special chakra. It's the. It's, right. What color would it be? Would it be brown? Would it be? It's like, gotta be purple. Blonde? We're talking about prints. It has to be purple. <laughs> it's gotta be right? purple. Come on. I'm yes. trying to think of a not like a chakra that doesn't exist. Is there not? I don't think there's a brown <laughs> chakra. That's why I'm saying that. <laughs> oh, good God. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us. I very much appreciate it. You are super awesome. Please, uh, people who are listening and or watching, please check Gabriel out. He he really does like a lot of a lot of different stuff. Quite quite the musician about Milwaukee um, and 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 Ohio <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, so please check him out. Um, yay! Thank you. Thank you so much. Had a lot of fun. Yay!